So I've got some news for you. More MCU stuff. I haven't done an MCU video in... What? Yeah. Nope. Not him. Captain Marvel 2. They might want Brie Larson to be a co-director in Captain Marvel 2. You know what that means. What? The end is nigh. The end is nigh. F***ing run away. The end is nigh. Captain Marvel 2, will Brie Larson have an even more important role than Carol Danvers? This article from Showbiz Cheat Sheet, it's about a month old, came out on February 13th. I'll link it in the description. This article basically goes on. Let's go through a little bit of it here. I'll give you my thoughts. We're just kind of kind of skim through it. Brie Larson's first solo outing, Captain Marvel, was a major success for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Well, it was a major success because they shoehorn it between its two biggest movies, Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. The film made well over a billion dollars at the box office, cementing Larson's future as a major player in the MCU. The studio is already thinking about what's ahead for Carol Danvers and Captain Marvel 2, though there are rumors that Marvel wants Larson to have an even more important role in the sequel. Captain Marvel was released in 2019, made over a billion dollars, but it was the third place Marvel movie of that year. That's right. Avengers Endgame, of course, now we know the highest grossing movie of all time, followed by, in 2019, the Marvel movie, Marvel and Sony conjunctive picture, Spider-Man Far From Humorous. Far From Good, Far From Funny, Far From a Good Movie should be the title. That made over a billion dollars, and I went to see it. I did. I don't like it at all, but I went to see it. And then Captain Marvel came in after those. Inside Marvel's plans for Captain Marvel 2, Marvel's already announced the full slate of films that will comprise Phase 4 of the MCU. And I've got another MCU video I'm working on for you guys. Although my MCU videos have kind of been... Nobody really responds to them anymore. Um, there's a lot of people just jump ship from the MCU. <laughs> And with the current trajectory of the projects at hand, I don't blame you. It's the MCU, not the MCU. <laughs> Kevin Feige seems hell-bent on an A-Force movie, which is probably going to cause an even bigger rift in the culture war. He was a retard. Larson might get a huge promotion for Captain Marvel 2. Despite all the hoopla surrounding Captain Marvel 2, Larson has remained very tight-lipped about the project. But according to We Got This Covered, very credible source of information... Marvel is thinking about having Larson co-direct the highly anticipated sequel. Again, it's not highly anticipated. <laughs> a source who has decided to remain anonymous says the studio wants Larson to be co-director in Captain Marvel 2 before helming the third outing in the franchise on her own. This would make Larson the first actor in the MCU to jump in the director's chair and lead a Marvel flick. No, don't like that. Why, God? He was a retard. What about those Nova rumors? Aside from directing talk, what about those Nova rumors? Now, as you remember, I did a uh, Nova in the MCU video. I will link that also at the end of this video for you if you care to watch it. Not many people did, but I've done a couple Nova videos now. Once that was uh, rumored that Nova was going to appear in the MCU, and the second was that they were going to gender flop Nova, of course. Aside from directing talk, another big rumor regarding Captain Marvel 2 deals with the introduction of Nova to the MCU. Inside Source claims that Marvel president Kevin Feige wants to introduce a female version of the iconic character in the sequel. You asked me if I care. You asked me. Go ahead. Ask. Right. Do you care, Jim? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and ask me. I just asked you. Why? Apart from giving fans another superhero, Nova would offer another jumping off point for the rumored A Force project. Oh my god. Come on. Don't bullshit me. Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. 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 You said it's all bullshit. 
all of it. Okay, let's talk about A-Force. Nobody bought the comic. Nobody wants the movie. There's there's a, a handful of weirdos that are like, oh my god, we need an all-girl team-up movie because it's going to be so awesome. If you don't go see it, you're an incel. Hey, you get your bitch ass back in the kitchen and make me some pie. The lead up to the movie will be woke marketing. I will guarantee it because that is the way Marvel is leaning with these projects. Look at Dana Schwartz. He looks like a donkey took a shit in her face. Let, let's, let's look ahead here. So we've got, let's talk about the female characters that you're going to have in this A-Force uh, rumored movie here. She-Hulk, Captain Marvel. <laughs> Wasp, or Nebula, Kate Bishop, uh, Miss Marvel, uh, America Chavez. They're going to have these stupid characters that nobody wants. And everybody wants to tout how how awesome Miss, Miss Marvel. They're talking to Kamala Khan. You know, the bitch has big hands, which is a superpower that every little girl clamors for. They're, they're trying to build this character up like she sells all these books. She doesn't. The last check at Comicron showed she was ranked 135th. Anything out of the top 50 is garbage. Okay? She doesn't sell books. Nobody likes this character. Nobody wants this character. Like I said, it's faux representation and, and faux wokeness. You know, they're just pretending to be woke to make money. All right. That's what it is. That's what it amounts to. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and let's take this thing home. Before I give you my final thoughts, here's where you can reach us on social media. Just pause the video at this point if you need to write this down or type it in another window so you can connect with us all across social media. What do you make of this Brie Larson being tapped to direct, possibly, or co-direct the sequel to Cat Pan Mediocre and then take over and helm the third installment of her movie, which is kind of funny, all things considered, because they haven't even released the second one and they're already planning a third. Now, this is based on the projections they have for the box office after the first movie. I don't know what to think. I don't think it's going to be any good. It'll probably be just as boring as the first one, especially with Brie Larson directing based on what she did with Unicorn Store, which was hot garbage. I am Etep Wakui, and to the place to be reviews, I have been here with all of yous. And if I don't see you, have a great day and a pleasant tomorrow. And remember, there's another video that's coming up next.